Welcome back to Geology Watch. The Bay of Naples in southern Italy is one of the most historic and scenic coastlines in the world, home to ancient ruins and modern cities. This area gets its name, the Phlegraean Fields, or Campi Phlegrae, from the ancient Greeks, who called it the Burning Fields, due to its steaming vents and volcanic nature. Beneath this landscape lies a vast, active supervolcano. This is not a typical mountain volcano, but a massive caldera system. Recent activity, including significant ground uplift and persistent earthquake swarms, has now put Italian authorities and scientists on high alert. Before we continue with the details of this developing situation, if you find these geological topics important and wish to stay informed, we would appreciate it if you took a moment to subscribe to the channel. The geological mechanism at Campi Flegre is complex. The feature is a large volcanic caldera, a basin-shaped depression that is the collapsed top of an ancient supervolcano. Its most defining characteristic is a phenomenon known as bradycism, which is a gradual cycle of uplift and subsidence of the ground surface. This movement is a direct result of activity in the magma chamber several kilometers below. The ground rises when the chamber fills with magma, or more commonly, when the pressure from volcanic gases like carbon dioxide increases. These gases escape from the molten rock as it rises, dramatically increasing the pressure on the crust above, causing it to swell and stretch. Conversely, the ground falls as this pressure subsides. The historical precedent for an eruption is significant. The caldera itself was formed by the cataclysmic Campanian Ignitebrite eruption approximately 40,000 years ago. This was a colossal event that ejected hundreds of cubic kilometers of ash and rock, spreading a layer of ash across much of Eastern Europe. Some scientific theories suggest this eruption created a volcanic winter that may have contributed to the final decline of Neanderthal populations. A more recent major eruption, though much smaller, occurred in 1538. Over the course of just one week, it created an entirely new volcanic cone, which still stands today as Monte Nuovo, or New Mountain. In modern times, the most significant period of unrest occurred between 1982 and 1984. During this two-year crisis, the ground in the town of Pozzuoli rose by nearly 6 feet, or 1.8 meters. This rapid uplift was accompanied by thousands of earthquakes, causing widespread damage to buildings and forcing the temporary evacuation of 40,000 residents. The crisis eventually ended without an eruption, but it served as a stark reminder of the volcano's power. Since 2005, Campi Flegre has been in a new and persistent phase of uplift. But now, the situation has taken on a new and serious urgency. Just two days ago, on Wednesday, September 3, 2025, the region was struck by an intense earthquake swarm. Over a period of several hours, hundreds of tremors were registered by the Vesuvius Observatory. The largest of these reached a magnitude of 4.2, the strongest earthquake to hit the area in decades. Residents across the caldera, particularly in the town of Pozzuoli, reported feeling the strong, sustained shaking that caused minor damage and widespread alarm. Volcanologists are analyzing the data with extreme prejudice, as this swarm is the clearest sign yet that the stress on the crust is reaching a critical level. In the last decade alone, the ground in some areas has risen by more than 1.1 meters, or 3.6 feet. This ongoing uplift, now punctuated by significant seismic events, is stretching the crust to its breaking point. While this activity could still depressurize and end without an eruption, as it did in the 1980s, this latest swarm has convinced many scientists that the volcano is entering a more dangerous and unpredictable phase. Continued stress could fracture the rock, 
opening up pathways for magma to finally reach the surface. The potential impact of an eruption would be catastrophic due to the extreme population density. Over half a million people live directly inside the caldera, in an area designated as the official red zone. An eruption could take several forms. A small steam-driven or phreatic eruption could still be dangerous, hurling rocks over a localized area. However, a larger magmatic eruption would be devastating. It would generate massive pyroclastic flows, fast-moving, ground-hugging clouds of hot gas, ash, and rock that can reach temperatures of hundreds of degrees and travel at over 100 kilometers per hour. These flows would destroy everything in their path. Such an event would have dire consequences for the entire Naples metropolitan area, which is home to over 3 million people. A large eruption would also produce an ash cloud that could severely disrupt air travel and agriculture across Europe. Given the danger, Campi Flagre is one of the most intensely monitored volcanoes on the planet. Italy's National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanism, INGV, operates a dense network of sensors. This includes seismometers to detect earthquakes, GPS stations, and satellite radar to measure ground deformation with millimeter precision, tilt meters to track the slope of the ground, and geochemical sensors that analyze gases released from vents, which can indicate changes in the magma below. There are detailed, color-coded evacuation plans in place for the 500,000 people in the red zone and another 800,000 in the surrounding yellow zone who would be at risk for heavy ashfall. The current alert level is yellow, signifying a state of attention, though many are now calling for a review following the recent swarm. The primary challenge is the immense logistical difficulty of evacuating such a large and dense population on short notice. Authorities would have to contend with traffic congestion and the challenge of convincing residents to leave their homes based on a scientific forecast that cannot be 100% certain. This makes constant communication and public education a critical part of the mitigation strategy. Please subscribe and share this video.